Hey you guys, let's see what let's see what movies are opening this week. Um and what's in the theaters now, the box office top down. Um, I got my Halloween candy out because it looks like there's a lot of spooky movies coming now that October first is right around the corner. Mm -hmm. So Opening this week, September 30th. Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. Rated PG-13 for 127 minutes. When Jacob discovers clues to a mystery that spans different worlds and times, he finds Miss Peregrine's home for peculiar children, but the mystery and danger deepens as he gets to know the residents and learns about their special powers. Ava Green, Asia Butterfield, Samuel L. Jackson, and Judy Dench. Judy Dench, sorry. Hmm. I like her. Next, we have Deepwater Horizon. Where the PG thirteen. For 107 minutes, a story set on the offshore drilling rig Deepwater Horizon, which exploded during April 2010 and created the worst oil spill in U.S. history. With um, Mark Wahlberg, Kurt Russell, Douglas M. Griffin, and James Dupont. Hmm. Next we have Masterminds, rated PG-13. For 94 minutes. A night guard at an armored car company in the southern U.S. organizes one of the biggest bank heists in American history. Hmm. With Kate McKinnon, Kristen Wiig, Jason Sudeikis, and Zach Galvianakis. Next we have American Honey, rated R for 163 minutes. A teenage girl with nothing to lose joins a traveling magazine sales crew and gets caught up in a whirlwind of hard partying, law bending, and young love as she crisscrosses the Midwest with a band of misfits. Sasha Lane, Shia LeBeau, Riley Keough, McCollum party. Is Riley Keel? I'm gonna have to look her up. Is that uh, Lisa Marie Presley's daughter? Is that Elvis's daughter? Granddaughter? I'm gonna have to look that up. Next. M.S. Doni, The Untold Story. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. 190 minutes, un yet unrated. It's a biography, a sport, the untold story of Donnie's journey from ticket collector to trophy collector, World Cup winning captain of the Indian cricket team. Hmm. Starring Disha Patani, Fawad Khan, Anupam Kher, Sushant Singh, Marsh, but I'm oh, sorry about Next, we have Denial, rated PG-13 for 110 minutes. Acclaimed writer and historian Deborah E. Lipstadt must battle for historical truth to prove the Holy Cross really occurred when David Irving, uh, Irving a renowned denier, sues her for libel. Rachel Weitz, Tom Wilkinson, Timothy Spall, and Andrew Scott. Next, A Man Called Ove, rated PG-13 for 116 minutes. Ove, an ill-tempered, isolated retiree who spends his days enforcing block association rules and visiting his wife's grave, has finally given up on life just as an unlikely friendship develops with his boisterous new neighbors. Oh. With Rolf 
Lascard, Bauer Parr, Susan Algen, and Tobias Umborg. Next we have Danny Says. 104 minutes yet. Um, it's unrated. It's a documentary. Danny Says is a documentary on the life and times of Danny Fields. Since 1966, Danny Fields has played a pivotal role in music and culture of the late 20th century. Working for The Doors, Cream, Lou Reed, Nico, Judy Collins, and managing great breaking artists like the Sto Stooges, the MC5, and the Ramones, Danny Says follows fields from Pi Beta Kappa whiz kid to Harvard Law dropout to the Warhol Silver Factory to director of publicity at Electra Records to punk pioneer and beyond. Danny's taste and opinion, once deemed defiant and radical, has turned out to have been pre present. Danny Says is a story of marginal turning mainstream, avant-garde turning prophetic, as Fields looks to the next generation. Hmm. Starring Judy Collins, Alice Cooper, MX, Justin Vivian Bond, and Justin Bond. Next we have what's showing in the theaters now, and here's a list of the box office stars. The Magnificent Seven, rated PG-13 for 133 minutes, and over the weekend it made $34 million. Seven gunmen in the Old West gradually come together to help a poor village against savage thieves. Denzel Washington, Chris Pratt, Ethan Hawke, and Vincent D'Onofrio. Next, we have Storks, rated PG, for under 87 minutes, and it made $21 million this past weekend. Storks have moved on from delivering babies to packages, but when an order, when an order for a baby appears, the best delivery stork must scramble to fix the error by delivering the baby. Starring Andy Samberg, Katie Crown, Kelsey Grammer, and Jennifer Aniston. It's an animation adventure movie. Next we have Sully. Rated PG-13 for 96 minutes and it made $35 million at the box office this past weekend. The story of Chelsea Sullenberger, who became a hero after gliding his plane along the water in the Hudson River saving all of the airplane flights, 155 crew and passengers. I still want to see that. Next, we have Bridget Jones Baby, rated R, for 123 minutes. I made $8 million over the weekend, past weekend. Bridget's focus on single life and her career is interrupted when she finds herself pregnant, but with one hitch. She can only be 50% sure of the identity of her baby's, of the baby's father. Starring Renee Zellweger, Gemma Jones, Jim Broadbent, and Sally Phillips. Next we have Snowden. Rated R for 134 minutes. Made $8 million this past weekend. The NASA's illegal surveillance techniques are leaked to the public by one of the agency's employees, Edward Snowden, in the form of thousands of classified documents distributed to the press. Starring Joseph Gordon-Levin, Shailene Woodley, Melissa Leo, and Zachary Quinto. Hmm. Next we have Blair Witch, waited on for 89 minutes. It made $9 million this past weekend. After discovering a video showing what he believed to be his vanished sister Heather, James and a group of friends head to the forest believed to be inhabited by the Blair Witch, with James Ellen McCoon, Kelly Hernandez, Corbin Reed, and Brandon Scott. 
Next we have Don't Breathe, rated R for 88 minutes, and it made $26 million this past weekend. It looks like a spooky crime horror thriller. Hoping to walk away with a massive fortune, a trio of thieves break into the house of a blind man who isn't as helpless as he seems. Next we have Suicide Squad. We did PG-13 for 123 minutes, and it made $133 million this past weekend. Government agency recruits some of the most dangerous incarcerated criminals to form a defensive task force with their first case leading to a potential apocalypse. With Will Smith, Jared Leto, Margot Robbie, and Viola Davis. Next, we have When the Bow Breaks, made a PG 13 for 107 minutes. And last weekend, it made $14 million. A surrogate mom for a couple becomes dangerously obsessed with the soon to be father. Oh my goodness. Starring Morris Chestnut, Regina Hall, Romani Malco, Michael, Kenneth Williams. And last, Kubo and the Two Strings, rated PG for 101 minutes, and it made $12 million this past weekend. A boy named Kubo must locate a magical suit of armor worn by his late father in order to defeat a vengeful spirit from the past. Um, week of October 7th. The Birth of a Nation is Coming, rated R. Nat Turner, a literate slave and preacher in the Antebellum South, orchestrates an uprising. Girl on the Train, rated R. A divorcee becomes entangled in a missing persons investigation that promises to send the shockwaves throughout. Next, middle school, the worst years of my life. Comedy rated PG. Imaginative, quiet teenager Ralph Ketchadorian is tired of his middle school's obsession with the rules at the expense of any and all creativity. Desperate to shake things up, Rafe and his best friends have come up with a plan. Break every single rule in the school and let the students run wild. Oh my goodness. Next, The Greasy Strangler, not yet rated, horror thriller comedy. Ronnie runs a disco walking tour with his son, Brayden. When a sexy woman takes the tour, it begins a competition between father and son for her love. It also signals the arrival of an oily strangler who stalks the streets at night. Oh my goodness. That's a spooky one. So that's what we have. I hope you guys enjoyed that. There's some spooky movies coming. Thanks for watching.